Hello. Um, we're, in, we're into new territory now, and um, it's interesting that even the Russian media have got in on this particular act. Uh, Dmitry Peskov, uh, the Kremlin's spokesperson, has uh, said with some glee uh, that Boris really doesn't like us and we don't like him either. Um, he wants more professional people to make decisions through dialogue, uh, but at the moment there's little hope in that, he says. Well, yes, he must be thinking, I'm afraid, of Liz Truss and the possibility that Liz Truss could, in fact, throw her hat into uh, the ring to be a candidate for uh, the premiership. Um, now, I think... There are two sides to this. There's there's a plus and there's a and there's a minus. The good news and the bad news. The good news is that if she were to decide that she wanted to be the next prime minister, she would probably have to stop being foreign secretary. In which case, somebody else could be put into her place, who could then negotiate for the lives of the four soldiers who, at the moment, have death sentences hanging over them and who are clearly not mercenaries. A mercenary is somebody who fights for money. These people are not fighting for money. These people are fighting for conviction and have relationships with people in Ukraine. And more than that, um, they, uh, um, Liz Truss is somebody who should have taken responsibility for their actions because she goaded people into fighting in the Ukraine uh, Foreign Legion. Um, when the war broke out in February. She should take responsibility. She doesn't. She is as um, morally defunct as, um, as I'm afraid, Boris now appears. But there is the option. So I said the plus side would be that she would have to step down as Foreign Secretary and would be replaced, and this would give opportunity. The negative side is that there would then be a slim possibility that she might be one of the two candidates on whom, uh, over whom the Conservative faithful will then vote to see who will be the next Prime Minister. That would be extremely dicey. Uh, I think... Um, I think it's also possible that she would be talked out of putting her name forward because, uh, be because of her association with Boris. I think she's too badly tarred or scarred. But is it not extraordinary that the best opportunity is for her to step aside to let somebody else negotiate when she is not there? That does not augur well for somebody who wants to be Prime Minister, that the only progress that can be made is if she's not there. I think we should think very seriously about that reality.